بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ویلکم ٹو کلاس ایٹ کلاس روم مائی نیم از تزبی اللہ سینئر ٹیچر فرنٹیئر چلڈرن اکیڈمی ایز یو نو دیٹ کرونا پینڈیمک آؤٹ بریک آل اسکول آر کلوز سو آئی ول ٹیچ یو آن لائن جنرل سائنس کلاس ایٹ چیپٹر نمبر ون ٹو and sex. So listen carefully each lecture and at the end of each lecture I will also assign some homework. So let uh, starts General Science KPK textbook book board Peshawar. Unit number one human organ system. This is lecture number one. So first of all, let's introduce the chapter. This chapter is belong to a branch of science that is biology. Uh, biology is the combination of two words. Bio means that is life and logy means study. So biology is a branch of science in which we study about life and the vital process they take place inside a living body. In your book, chapter number one, three, sorry, chapter number one, two, three, and four, these chapter are related to this field that is called biology. Organ system. In grade six, you have studied about these things. Uh, the cell, the cell that is the structure and function unit of the body. When these cells combine and form a group that perform a same function that is called tissue, like muscular tissue, epithelial tissue, etc. And when these tissue combine, it form an organ and that organ, uh, like uh, say that is stomach. So in this stomach, you can find different kinds of tissues. And when organ combine, they form a system like digestive system, the organ of digestive system, that is stomach, esophagus, oral cavity, etc. And when different system combine, then it form an organism, full organism. So in this chapter, we will study two system the first one is nervous system and the second one later on we will study that that will be excretory system so first of all the nervous system the nervous system if you touch a hot stove instantly the message is conveyed to your brain and the brain order you to jerk your hand away so why this is because of your nervous system so how we will define a nervous system a kind of system in the human body which carry message from one part of the body to another and make us feel and to react things and situation so such kind of a system is called nervous system uh, the main component of the nervous system is brain, spinal cord and neurons. Uh, later on we will discuss these uh, uh, brain, spinal cord and neuron one by one. But first of all, that what are the parts of the nervous system? There are two parts of the nervous system. One is called central nervous system. C and S and another is called peripheral nervous system P and S. So first of all we will discuss the central nervous system. The central nervous system it, 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 it is a control center of the whole nervous system. So this is a control tower and uh, let us uh, discuss the central nervous system different parts with a hierarchy. Uh, it have two main parts brain and spinal cord. Then brain have three main parts forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. 
forebrain again divided into three parts cerebrum thalamus hypothalamus and hindbrain cerebellum pons and medulla oblongata now let's discuss the brain in detail and then their sub parts so brain brain is present in a casing in the skull that is called cranium and this cranium provide protection to the brain uh, there are beneath this cranium further protection is provided by some membrane and these membrane are called meninges as uh, you can see here in this diagram this dura mater pia mater arginite species but, but forget about these names so these membrane are called meninges so it provide protection to the brain now uh, an average uh, weight uh, of the brain that is 3 pound now let's discuss uh, the different parts of the brain the brain are divided into three parts fore brain mid brain and hind brain first of all we will discuss the fore brain fore brain actually this is the largest part of the brain and consists further of three parts cerebrum thalamus and hypothalamus cerebrum cerebrum is the largest part of the brain you can see here in this diagram this whole is cerebrum so there are two cerebrum one is called a right cerebrum hemisphere and left cerebrum hemisphere in this diagram you can see one cerebrum hemisphere and these are connected with each other through a structure and that is called corpus callosum the right uh, hemisphere cerebrum control the left side of the body and left cerebrum hemisphere control the right side of the body the function that is controlled by cerebrum that is sight speech smell taste and hearing so sensory function that is controlled by the cerebrum some advanced function they are also controlled inside this cerebrum like uh, learning thinking intelligent memory and voluntary action voluntary action are those action which are under our well later on we will discuss that voluntary action uh, another part uh, of the this fore brain is thalamus thalamus uh, it is it uh, occur uh, beneath this cerebrum you can see here in this diagram so it is beneath this uh, cerebrum and this uh, purple color this is uh, actually show the thalamus uh, thalamus uh, actually it work as a relay station it carry impulses from down brain and then it convey to their respective places inside the cerebrum so it work as a relay station another part that is called hypothalamus of the fore brain this part is called hypothalamus hypothalamus it control the body temperature hunger and thirst so this was the largest part of the brain fore brain now come toward the mid brain this is the second uh, part of the brain uh, mid brain this is very reduced and short part of the brain uh, you can see here this red uh, labeling this is the uh, mid brain mid brain conduct messages from hind brain to fore brain so this is a very reduced part of the brain uh the next part that is hind brain hind brain this is the posterior part of the brain uh which further consist of three parts the cerebellum the pon and medulla oblongata uh 
first of all this cerebrum this cerebrum this is the second largest part of the brain uh, this uh, part of the brain cerebrum control movement posture balance locomotion of the body the pons uh, you can see here this is a small board uh, bridge uh, like portion that uh, connect uh, between the connect the cerebrum with the last part medulla oblongata so it also work as a bridge this is a slightly swollen portion uh, medulla oblongata this is the elongated portion of the uh, hind brain and it control the involuntary function of the body like heart beat swallowing of food vomiting coughing sneezing digestion etc uh, spinal cord actually this is uh, the second part of the central nervous system uh, spinal cord this is the elongation extension of the medulla oblongata medulla oblongata the, that was the last part of the brain so this is the extension of the uh, medulla oblongata so this is a tubular structure and it is protected by the vertebral column this this is the vertebra so this is the vertebral column so and this is the spinal cord so this spinal cord and this diagram this yellow color show the spinal cord and it is protected by the vertebral column what is its function it, the function of the spinal cord they to connect different body parts and convey message to the brain and it also take orders from the brain and then convey to the all body part through a nerve impulse what is nerve impulse actually these are electrochemical changes later on we will study this in the neuron topic uh, paralyze if uh, this uh, spinal cord it is damaged due to some injuries like you can see here so it can cause paralyzation of the body so uh, this was the end of uh, lecture number one of unit one thank you